welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. I am a knitwear designer, knitter, content creator, general living the yarny life person and I'm here with you today with a special video. Well, a special series of videos. Oh my god, I'm so excited it's finally here. I have had the idea to do this for ages but I was waiting until closer to the time to see if it felt right and it does feel right and I'm so excited <laughs> so I have taken part in vlogmas for the past two years uh, 2021 was fabulous it was my first year doing it I enjoyed it so so much um, I, n I never film every single day, I just film as many days as feels comfortable for me, taking days off when I need a break. And then in 2022, I started off equally excited, but over the course of December, my mental health rapidly decreased. Not because of Vlogmas, Vlogmas was like one of the best parts of my December, but by the end I was kind of just not in the best place and I think you can see that in that vlogmas so I'm trying my hardest to not you know admit it to myself <laughs> I wasn't in the best place and so it kind of it didn't ruin vlogmas for me but it did kind of taint it for me and I feel like I didn't get that experience that I was so excited for so I, I found myself kind of wanting to be in that kind of vlog missy space but obviously we are nowhere near Christmas and I promise I'm not going to be saying the word Christmas a million times every video <laughs> it's more the kind of um just kind of vibe we're going for I'm already off track um also I don't know if this is true for any other like communities and stuff out there but in the knitting community certainly I always notice at this time of year the whole concept of Christmas in July there are usually cows and little things and quite, I think quite often the idea is to start your Christmas knitting now so that it's done and you're not worrying about it at Christmas which is going to be a bit of a theme throughout this month's videos um or like a lot of people start a christmas jumper or just do a christmasy project now so that it's not taking over your life at actual christmas so i thought you know what i'm gonna do vlogmas in july Ding! <laughs> i just thought it would be really fun i am kind of I've really slowed down with my designing at the moment just for mental health reasons and quite often when I slow down on the designing I find myself being more drawn to YouTube and making videos because I freaking love making videos um, so it just felt like the right time and I have some very specific goals for vlogmas in July obviously there's going to be family life the kids what we get up to but the main focus of this is going to be knitting so if you're not usually a vlog watcher if you're normally just here for the podcasts then this should hopefully still be enjoyable for you because we are going to be focusing on the knitting with just little bits of life here and there i am not going to be filming and producing a video every single day because that just doesn't work for me it's not what i've ever done but i will usually you know film a day edit that day release that day as often as feels right for me but i'm going to do it a little bit differently because i don't want to be smashing out a million videos over and over again but i am going to try and film as often as possible that might be every day it might not but i'm going to edit and release videos kind of every few days and bunch a few days together and that way if I take a day off then you know fine if there's a day where we're doing something really really fun I can focus on that but then don't feel like I have to spend my whole day filming and then my whole evening editing she's going to be a lot more chilled a lot more relaxed but there should be quite a few videos in this series I'm hoping there is some exciting things happening this month well to be fair, today is actually June. It's the last day of June. It's June the 30th. Yeah, any of the adults that out there not know how many days are in each month? I don't know. I never learned the right. I just never know. Um, today's 30th of June. Tomorrow, 1st of July, the official start of Vlogmas in July is my daughter Penelope's birthday. So obviously we're doing birthday things tomorrow. On Sunday she's having a party. Full-blown village hall, bouncy castle, pinata party 
everything. So I'm obviously not going to be filming like crazy over those two days, but I would like to capture some moments. Um, it is the last few weeks of the summer term. So it's my last few weeks of freedom before the kids break up for summer. And I would like to make the most of that time and do some really fun things for myself in that time some special little trips which we'll go into at a later date at the end of july i'm going to a yarn show with my friend anna which is well exciting and a lovely way to end the month i think and then it's just yeah i feel like i'm really looking forward to this month because june was an absolute s-h-i-t show it was awful i have been killed by hay fever i've had a flare-up of my graves disease so i have been tired constantly but i'm finally feeling better on both accounts still a little bit hay fevery still a little bit tired but not so much that it's just bringing me down i'm excited i'm ready so yay let's this episode itself is probably just going to be like quite knit and chat kind of thing and then with little hints over the next few days probably afterwards but i wanted to sit down and talk about my projects some recently finished objects and mainly the plans for July because I've got some very, very specific goals. I'm going full nitty natty. I'm even probably going to write it down and I might even make like a little tracker colouring in page like Naomi from NJ Knits. That's really fun. Um, but yeah, we're going for it. We're going hard. I'm going to change my battery. Great start. <laughs> a little sip of coffee. So, current project that I'm working on at the moment. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I've been working on a birthday present for my daughter. My sweet little Penelope is going to be four years old and she's one of the most knit-worthy people in the whole entire world. She loves it. I can't quite believe I've kept this a secret. I can't believe she hasn't seen it, but I've managed to do it and I've just got one more thing that I'm finishing off today. Um, recently, Penny has discovered the joy of Where's Wally? or where's Waldo if you're in America, or maybe some other countries, I'm not sure. But she really, really enjoys it, and she's freakishly good at it. So of course, I was like, I've got to do this. I've got to make this girl a where's Wally jumper. <laughs> and this is intended more of like a costume, like dress up, kind of play kind of thing. Um, though knowing her, she'll probably want to wear it in real life. She'll probably want to wear it to nursery. <laughs> but here we are, I finished it last night. Here is her where's Wally jumper. I used Cascade 220 Super Wash because it's my daughter and this will need to go through the wash a lot and I was really impressed with this yarn. I haven't wet blocked it yet so I don't know how much it grows but it's come up really nicely with a steam block. The colours are lovely, it's really nice to knit with, I've not got any pinstriping and yeah just really impressed, really affordable. Um, it's quite thick for a DK weight yarn. Um, I used 4mm needles, but I definitely could have, got, got, could have gotten away with 4.5, so it's quite a plump DK, so maybe more of a worsted. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. The pattern that I used was the Strange Brew by Tin Can Knits, a pattern I use all the time. I did a size 4 to 6, so it should be nice and big for her. I think I may have accidentally cropped the body a bit. I probably could have gone on and done like one more white stripe on there the actual wally jumper has it starts red at the top and then it ends on white and it ends on white on the sleeves as well but i wasn't going to get you know that bothered about that kind of thing um but clearly i dropped the ball and it's a little bit cropped but my daughter is quite short so i'm sure it'll be fine i also haven't got time to lengthen it and i'm not going to stress about it because it's just a silly little play jumper and um, the only other thing i did different from the strange brew is i put my short rows at the top the strange brew pattern if you don't know about it, it's a recipe for a circular yoke jumper from baby to large men's, uh, e like extra large, like really big size range basically, loads and loads of sizes. It comes with instructions for top down, bottom up, and it's all based around colour work yokes. So the stitch counts are all divisible by 4, 8, 12. Um, and you, the idea is you put in your own yoke, like colour work thing. It's suddenly gotten very bright, hasn't it? But I use it, or I've used it quite a lot. I recently made Penelope a, like a little t-shirt with like a scalloped colour work stripe thing going on and I used it for that. 
and they both came out quite different the yoke on this is a lot shorter however it I think this is going to fit her better because the other one I made is definitely too big for her. It's too long in the yoke, too long in the body, but it will be perfect for her next year. So I'm thinking this is probably going to fit a little bit better. The only other thing with Strange Brew, do you know what? It's not so bad now it's blocked. Is the sleeve shaping I find a little bit odd because you work a section, it's still damp. <laughs> and then you do like quite rapid decreasing and then you have like a straight bit here. And it's just not what I'm used to the last time I like graded a child's sleeve I just evenly all the way along to create one nice smooth decrease so this is quite different to what I'm used to and I'm interested to see what it's going to be like on an actual child's body so we'll see but this is the main event really the jumper um, and I've also bought her the little like round glasses <laughs> like Wally um, they're like online they're like wizard glasses but yeah, they're, they're exactly the same. So some little round black rimmed glasses. And then my main current whip, of course, is the hat. <laughs> I didn't know if I was gonna get this done or not, but I managed to cast this on last night and I've, oh God, the yarn nearly went in the coffee. That would have been awful. I set myself a little challenge this morning. Again, totally encompassing Nitty Natty. Who even am I? Um, this is all I did last night up to this little progress keeper, well, stitch marker. And what I did this morning was I set a timer for one hour and saw how much I knit. And I managed to do six centimeters of one by one rib in one hour. Now the body, I'm doing a folded rim because I'm just not so keen on a straight rim. I just don't really like the look of it. So it's folded rim, it's as long as it says in the pattern and I'll tell you what the pattern is in a minute. I've just got to pull it out on my phone. Um, now in the pattern, and it's free pattern, so I can tell you this. I've now got to do another eight centimetres of hat before I do the decreases. So if I did six centimetres of one by one rib in one hour, then I can smash out eight centimetres of stockinette in one hour. And then it's just decreases and then it's done. So I reckon I can get this hat done in two hours. Let's say two to three, because I don't want to hurt myself. So I should be able to get this done by tomorrow. Should be able to get it done by the end of the day. She's at nursery today. I do have to nip into town today to pick up her balloons for her party and nip to the shop to get food for her party. But that's all I've got to do today. So I'm really hoping that I can get a, a good two hours on this today and then I can finish it off tonight when she's gone to bed. Um, and then I can give it a little gentle steam block and leave it and then we'll be, be done. Though I do need to wrap it up. So it needs to be blocked and dry before we go to bed. Maybe I won't block it. We'll see. It's a hat, it doesn't matter. Um, so the brim is red, the body of the hat is white, and then the pom-pom is red. So yeah, that's where we are, and I'm really excited to get this done. So that's what I'm working on at the moment, and the next time you'll see it will be hopefully on Penny, if she's excited to actually like wear it. I hope she is. She has, hasn't actually asked to do a Where's Wally for like a week now, so I'm a bit like, <laughs> have I gone through all this for nothing? But I can just imagine her like playing Where's Wally, like going standing somewhere in the house and then me or Jeff have to come and find her. It'd be so cute. So now, the main projects for this month and the main reason I'm doing this is because the last two years and specifically last year, I've really kind of fallen into that trap of gift knitting in December and hating it. Last year, uh, 2021 wasn't so bad. Um, I was definitely more organised, I finished everything that I wanted to make, I enjoyed it more, but it was still a little bit like, mm, I'd rather be working on other things. And then last year, I really didn't do a very good job. I started my main project too late, and then I had to rip most of it out. I spent most of the time stressing about finishing it and whether it was going to fit or not, and I didn't finish it in time. So I am determined for that not to happen this year, and the first step I'm taking towards not um feeling not having that gift knit at christmas stress is i'm not gonna gift knit at christmas <laughs> traditionally i make a sweater for my husband for his christmas present i don't knit anything else for him at any other time of year um and this year i'm just not doing it because it's our seven year wedding anniversary this year and the traditional gift is wool can you imagine how excited i am so of course I'm going to make him a woolen jumper for our anniversary, which is in October. 
He has said many, many times that what he would really like is like a white cream cabled sweater. That's what he wants. So that's what I'm going to make him. And I was originally going to design him something, but that's just going to ruin it for me. Um, and I've got enough designs on the go at the moment as it is. And then I thought, okay, well, I'll do the Moby Sweater Man by Petite Knit. I know I can trust the pattern. I can just get stuck in straight away. No faffing, it'll be fine. Um, but I'm not so keen on the trellis thing that goes down the front of the Moby. I love the way it looks, but I don't enjoy knitting it. I did, I've done the Ingrid sweater, I've done the adult version, and I've done some of the kids version. I've just not done the sleeves. And it was my least enjoyable part of that sweater so it put me off the Moby Man and I asked you guys in a previous podcast for your recommendations I had loads of lovely recommendations the main one was the something Christopher cable sweater that was based on a jumper that Captain America wore in a different film that actor I can't remember his name his name is Christopher something um, and it's gorgeous but it looks a bit too intense for my brain capacity at the moment so I've decided in the end to just suck it up and do the Moby sweater man I'm going to use knitting for olive double heavy knitting for olive heavy merino because i've already got quite a bit of in stash but i will need to buy some more taking a risk with dye lots but i do think i've got enough in stash for the body and if the sleeves are a different dye lot doesn't matter also i don't care husband doesn't care i can do the all the rib a different dye lot i'm honestly not that buffed about it as long as we don't have a very obvious line in the middle of the jumper then i'm fine um so yeah, I'm just going to suck it up and do that pattern because I think it will be the least stressful and I think it popped up on my feed again the other day and it's just beautiful. It's so nice. It's like, it's a modern cable. It's not too old fashioned. It's not too intense. I think, yeah, it's the way I should go. But I am not starting it until I have finished last year's Christmas project that was the main subject of Vlogmas and the main subject of my turmoil <laughs> at Vlogmas. Um, I've got it right here. Any long-term followers will know this very well. This, oh gosh, it's still on a, is it on a thing? How are we, how are we doing? I'm going to have to like put it over. This is the Big Love Cardigan by Anchor Strick. There is also the Great Love Cardigan, which I think is a chunky version. And this is the Aran version. I don't know. They're basically the same thing, but different weights. And as you can see, it's an all over textured cardigan with a shawl collar. So, so up my husband's street. He currently has a brown shawl collar cardigan that he wears all the time, but it's in such a bad state. It's baggy. It's like, yeah, it's not nice. So I wanted to make him something along those lines that can replace that cardigan. It's beautiful. It's a lovely design. The texture is, is lovely. I'll just move my face out of the way for a minute. If I remember rightly, it's an offset rib. So it's like, it's basically, I think, yeah, it's basically knit one pearl one all over, but it's like staggered in different ways to create a kind of rib looking texture, but not quite. And it's got, um, the short rows are and the collar are all done in one by one ribs so it's got some interesting design details i added short rows on the sleeves in one by one rib this isn't in the original pattern but the main problem with my first version was my armholes were not deep enough and my sleeves were not wide enough um and because this pattern is like obviously it's completely unisex there's nothing feminine about this at all it was written and graded for women and I needed to kind of make some more condition, like some more considerations for the shape of my husband's body. He's got very broad shoulders and he's like quite muscular in the arms. So I just wanted to make sure that there was plenty of space here. So I just added a little bit of short row just to add another wedge in this area here. And I think it looks really nice. The sleeves are very, very long on me, but they should be right on him. And yeah, I'm, I'm on track for it to be fitting well and when I gave it to him at Christmas he did actually try it on and it was fine so I've just got a SHIT ton of body to go here I don't know exactly how much body I've got to go but it's probably going to be a good I don't know 
a good eight inches i think my husband my husband's other jumper i made for him was 15 inches in the body and it was just right for him so um yeah i've got a fair amount to do and it's all over textured both sides no plain knit rows and yeah it's a bit of a slog so when i last showed this it was in my whip parade video and so many of you were like 30 minutes a day just just do 30 minutes a day laura why are you mucking about just do it and i'm like guys i'm gonna take your advice it's time for 30 minutes of a day of a day 30 minutes a day on this project um i don't care if my husband sees me doing it or anything like that but I'm just gonna, yeah, commit to 30 minutes a day. I might create a little tracker, like I said before, where I can colour in my 30 minutes a day to have a real visu visual representation of how far I've got to go. I know that Naomi from NJ Knits did this for her. She thinks she's doing a Welcome to the Jungle, which is an insane, insanely difficult and long project. So I feel like that could work for me. And then that way, if I do more than 30 minutes a day, then that's cool. Um, I'm probably, when I've finished all the Where's Wally stuff, then I'm going to sit down and work on this for 30 minutes, maybe even an hour, and see how far I get. And I can then figure out how much, how long it's actually going to take me to do. And I'm probably going to be quite surprised that it's not going to take as long as I've built it up to in my head. Um, so there you go. This is the first main project of Vlogmas in July. I'm going to be finishing the Big Love cardigan and finally giving it to my husband. So then in August, I can just get cracking on his present, which will give me August, September, give me two months to do an all over cabled men's jumper. Yeah, I think I need to crack on with that, don't I? <laughs> My other project that I would like to do is again a whip from Vlogmas 2021. Now, I did finish this. It was a pair I made, um, Sunday socks by Petite Knit for my mum and for my sister. I finished them, but my mum felted one of hers very quickly. Um, so she gave me this one back and I have been replacing it and I completely forgot about this. I've worked the leg already. It's not even on holders. I pull a few stitches out every time I get it out. This is Phil Kalana Peruvian Highland Wool. By the way, as is this, Phil Kalana Peruvian Highland Wool, the most beautiful DK worsted Aran, depending on your vibe yarn love it um <clears throat> and i put these away and just forgot about them so i thought it would be really nice to finish this so that's another whip out of my whip pile another project gone and done and i can give them back to my mum ready for when it gets cold again but also i would like to make a few pairs of sunday socks as christmas gifts so my final goal of vlogmas in july is to make a Christmas gift for this year. Um, I'm not doing any large projects. Last year I made penny gloves for my son's teachers. He's got two main teachers and like a teacher and a support teacher, like a TA. And I made them all a pair of penny gloves, which went down really, really well. I really enjoyed knitting on them. Got rid of lots of yarn stash. Like I can, I could bosh out a pair in under four hours by the end of it. And I made one, two three four five i made five pairs of penny gloves last year though i did hack the pattern slightly to make them more of a dk weight but i did do one of the original gauge for my sister and again absolutely lovely um so this year he'll be moving up to year one and my daughter is going into reception so she's going to have the teachers that my son had last year so i'm not going to be knitting them Christmas gifts again because they had Christmas gifts, knitted Christmas gifts last year and I think one is enough. So I would like to make knitted Christmas gifts for just new teachers and then every year he goes up like every set of teachers will get a knitted Christmas present from Jeff every year but not from Penny because they would have already had one from Jeff depending on whether the teachers change, I don't know. So I'd like to do Sunday socks because from what I can remember they're really really quick and I've got loads of yarn and stash that would work for them. So I'm just gonna see if I can get a pair of them done this month so that I can be they can be ready to go in December. Jeff has got I think four teachers this year. Two of them job share the main role but one of them is also the deputy head um, and then I think there are two support teachers in year one 
I'm not too sure, but yeah, four pairs of penny socks. So let's think, July, August, September, October, one pair of penny socks a month. Penny socks, not penny socks, are they? Sunday socks, one pair of Sunday socks a month until December and then I will get to December and I will be free to knit on whatever the heck I want. No gifts and it's gonna be lovely. So with that, I would like to invite you guys to join me on a very, very informal, I don't even wanna say knit along, though it kind of, I'm not hosting a knit along. There's no like prizes or anything like that. It's just gonna be, if you wanna join me and get ahead of the game and just make one Christmas gift for somebody this month, then, feel free to come aboard. <laughs> I'm probably gonna make a hashtag just so I can have a little look at what you guys are making, maybe get some inspiration and share a few, that would be nice. It'll probably be hashtag Vlogmas in July. I haven't checked if that's free. If it's not, I could do Vlogmas in July 2023 or something like that, but I'll, I'll pop it here, whatever it is. So if you would like to join me and just get ahead of the game, even if it's just one little pair of socks or one hat or whatever it is, or even just get started on your big Christmas project. You know, if you wanna make yourself a Christmas jumper, start it now, don't wait until November. Like, let's do it. Let's, let's just, yeah, let's get organized. So, happy July to you all. I will now fade into some lovely footage of my Pen Penelope's birthday weekend, and I will catch up with you maybe on Monday. This weekend. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing. La, la, la. Hello, you join me on Sunday evening. I am absolutely exhausted. I knew this was gonna be a big weekend, but nothing quite prepares you for your first kids party and a toddler one at that. It was, it was wonderful. I got a little bit emotional at the end. It, it just went really, really well. It was a big, big deal for me. Um, it was a big thing to organize. It was a big social event, a lot had to happen, and I was kind of in control of it all, but I had some amazing support from my wonderful mum and her husband and my sister. They just they just made it so that I could still enjoy everything. Like, my mum was on it with the drinks, my sister was oh, here, there, and everywhere. My sister took some lovely videos for me because I was just like, I took one picture on my phone and that was it. I took some footage which you would have seen, but my sister helped with that too. And it was just wonderful. Penny was spoiled by her lovely friends and she was just so happy. Like, she, it, she was just so happy and so many people were like, it was the best party ever. We had so much fun. All the kids were so happy and it was just fantastic. Considering I was dreading doing it, I actually had such a good time and I'd do it again. So I just wanted to round up this first Vlogmas in July today because I'd really like to start afresh tomorrow. So this has probably been a bit of a weird video. It's like chatting, birthday party chatting, Finn. <laughs> so yeah, this is just a bit of a weird start but that's the way it's gone and we are taking this super relaxed. I really want to start afresh tomorrow because I'm going to have the nicest 
quietest, most chilled out day with Penny and lots of knitting, hopefully. Speaking of which, you might be able to spot this guy hanging up behind me. It was a big, big hit. I think I've got a picture of it. I've definitely got a funny video of her, which I will pop in. I'll scoot over so there's space for the video. Um, the body is fine. I didn't have to worry about being it cropped, but the sleeves are long, too long, and the hat is too small. Like, it just fits her. So it's fine now, but if she wants to wear it for World Book Day in March next year, I'm gonna need to make another hat. But I've got loads of the yarn left, which I will keep, and like, all ready for next time. I'm not gonna make a new hat now. And yes, the sleeves are a bit too long, but I'm not gonna change them, because she can roll them up, and I can lengthen the body if I need to in the future. But she absolutely loved it. She looks so funny in it. So funny. And my son loves it too, he can just about fit into it. I might make the Odd Law outfit for him, which is the bad guy in Wally. He's basically the same as Wally, but it's black and yellow. So I might do that for him for his birthday if he wants to. Um, so I just thought, you know, just to make sure we've got enough knitting content in this one, I thought I'd show you what I'm going to be working on tonight. Look what we have here. We have a sock. Obviously, I've got all my Christmas projects that I'm going to be working on this week, but I'm going to, you know, just chill out tonight and give myself a little bit of finished object uh, serotonin. This is the second sock. I know, right? I can't remember what this yarn is or who it's from. I think it might be Cheshire hand dyed, but I'll double check. This is a random mini skein. This is a random mini skein, but I've just done one long tube and I'm gonna do a wedge toe and then I'm gonna do an afterthought heel in the same yarn as this. I couldn't decide which color I wanted to do for the heel. So I just thought I'll do the heel in the same yarn so it's all like seamless. And then we've got little color pops on either end. My sock mojo is well and truly back at the moment, but in a kind of new way. I don't even feel like I've knit this sock, this pair, because the, it's all been done in like transit. Like I just keep it in the car for one thing, like my cup holder is the perfect size for a 50 gram ball of yarn, I've learned. <laughs> and then I like roll this up and put it in the other cup holder. <laughs> um, but it's just, I don't even feel like I've knit them because I've just done a couple of rows here, a couple of rows there, take it to the cafe, you know, like if I'm sitting, waiting in the car whilst I'm picking one of the kids up if I'm there early, I'm always early. Um, I took it to my doctor's appointment, it's just good to have on hand, and in, by the end of the day I'm gonna have a finished pair of socks. I am tempted to put these aside and keep these as a potential Christmas gift, because I thought if I just always have a little pair of car socks on the go, I can, um, yeah, build up my little sock collection. because so I don't actually wear handmade socks that often. I wear them more like slippers in the winter. So first thing in the morning when I wake up and it's cold and in the evening on the sofa, if it's a bit chilly, I don't wear them in shoes. I don't wear them out the house, nothing like that. So it's, I don't have that many pairs, but I'm really enjoying working them at the moment. It's just really nice to have like a plain stockinette. So that's what I'm going to work on tonight. Thank you for joining me for this weird video. I promise the rest of the month is going to be better. I hope. I'm really looking forward to filming this week. I've got no major plans this week other than Wednesday I volunteer at my son's school to help with their swimming lessons. It's just like a little on the side making sure everyone's safe person, and then Penny has her swimming lesson afterwards. Um, but Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday should be nice and chill and quiet, and my gosh, I need it. There's just gonna be some nice housey stuff, lots of knitting, maybe some beautiful walks. I'd love to go to the gym, I'd love to go swimming myself. So hopefully it will be a lovely week. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.